Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and this week I have a completely free week so I can work on the game all the time and hopefully make some good progress and this week I'm mainly going to be concentrating on tidying up any loose ends to do with the GUIs so I want to go through all the GUIs one more time, tidy them up, polish them up and basically get them ready for release so that I don't have to worry about them anymore at all and I can spend the rest of the time just working on the species and the entities. So I've just started off the week in the same way that I start off most weeks, which is to make a nice big to-do list. And this week, of course, it's all about the GYs. And firstly, I'm going to be working on the main menu this week because it looks a little bit dull and boring at the moment. So in GIMP, I've been trying to design a new look for it. And I think I'm going to go with something along those lines. And I've just been creating the new header for the main menu to start with. It is half past one now and this morning I've slowly been making progress on the new main menu so you can see that I've added in the header and I've also started work on the new buttons and now I'm just stopping for some lunch. This afternoon I've been making some good progress on the new main menu so you can see that I've got all the buttons set up now and at the moment I'm working on getting these white lines to appear around whichever option is currently selected or moused over um, because I think that will be quite a nice little touch but I've got to stop now and go food shopping because I've got no food for this week. So I have now added those white lines next to the buttons and I'm fairly happy with them. They're not quite as nice as I thought they were going to be, um, but perhaps they need a fading in and out animation or something like that. So I might try that later and that might make them look a little bit nicer. Also, I've been experimenting a bit with different size displays and different aspect ratios for the display and just making sure that the buttons um, don't get distorted and keep their aspect ratio and still look good. To finish off the day I've created a new background image for the main menu but only for when you load up the game for the first time because the empty world that you'd always see blurred in the background was always a bit boring when you started the game for the first time uh, but after that when you've been playing the game and you go back into the main menu it again just shows a blurred image of the world. Good morning everyone, it is a lovely bright and sunny Tuesday morning and today I'm just going to be continuing on with my work on the GUIs. So to start off the morning I completed the main menu by allowing options to be blocked like the new world option here and that's blocked because there are no more save slots and also I've been working on saving the user preferences so for example that will be things like the graphical settings so that you don't have to change them every time that you start the game and also it remembers now the last world that you were playing on. So for example, if I load up save slot three here and then I quit the game and start it again, it will remember which save slots I was previously playing on. So you can see here that it's now remembered that I'm on save slot three. It is half past 12 now. I'm just about to stop and go for a run and then have some lunch. But for the rest of the morning, I finished off the stuff to do with saving the graphics settings. I also created a new back button because the old one didn't really suit the style of the game very well. And I've just started work on saving information about the different save slots. So at the moment you can see that it displays the time and date of when that save slot was last played. And I'm also going to display a whole load of other information here as well. Just updated the play and delete button for the save slots so that they're now square so that it just fits a bit better with the style of the GYs. And now I'm going to work on a confirmation message uh, when you click on the delete button so that it doesn't just delete the slot straight away uh, but it asks you whether you're sure if you want to delete it or not. It is quarter to six in the evening now and I've just finished implementing the confirm pop-up that comes up when you click on the delete button. So now if you didn't mean to click on the button you can just click away or click on the cross here and nothing will happen. But if you do want to delete the save then you can click on the tick and it deletes the save. Obviously I need to change this cross icon here to a, a bin or something like that because at the moment it's exactly the same icon as the don't delete button which is a little bit confusing but I'll definitely change that at some point. So I did have a go at creating my own delete icon and it actually didn't go too badly. I think that looks quite like a bin. Um, so that's good. But I'm gonna stop for dinner now. This evening I'm gonna have a go at trying to cook this, which should be exciting. And then I'll get back to work later this evening. It's a lovely summer's evening today and I'm just enjoying my noodle ramen soup. To end the day I've been doing a bit of work on the options menu and I've changed all the buttons so that they're in the same style as the buttons on the main menu. 
and it all looks a little bit nicer now. It is 8.30 on Wednesday morning, it's another beautiful day here in Berlin, and today I'm just going to be continuing on with the GYs. So to start off this lovely sunny day, I've been working on a new control screen, and I've created this simple control screen here, which matches the style of the game a little bit better than the old one. And that is pretty much the whole main menu done now, so I can start to move on to some other things now. Next up today, I've been doing some work on the splash screen, which is the screen that shows up when you first start up the game. Uh, so you can see that here, and I've made it so that this can now show as many logos as I want, and they'll all fade in um, one after another, so that it can show not only my logo, but the logos of the musicians and sound artists who are also working on the game with me. And now I'm going to go for an ice cream in the park. Just made one more quick little update to the splash screen, which is that now the Equinox music doesn't start until after all the logos have shown, and you can hear that it starts kicking in when the main menu fades in. So now that I'm finished with the main menu, I want to start working on the task GYs, and the first thing that I need to fix is obviously that the text gets incorrectly scaled when the display size changes, so I need to work on that first. But I can't work on that right now because I've somehow got roped into going to a Pentatonix concert this evening, but hopefully I'll have some time later when I get back. Just got back from the concert and it was actually really good, I had a very good time. Um, but now I don't really have time to work on the task GYs this evening, so instead I'm just going to finish off the day with a bit of comment answering. Good morning everyone, it is Thursday and today I'm going to be mostly working on the task GYs, but before I get started with that there's one final thing that I wanted to add to the main menu, which is the option to see the credits. It is quarter to ten, and as you can see there is now a credits option in the main menu, and clicking on that will take you to the credits for the game, which will look something like this. Back to working on the task GYs now, and I've just fixed that problem with the scaling text for different display sizes. So for this display size you can see that the text is all displayed correctly, and if I quit out of this and then change the size of the display, and then load that up again, you can see that the text is also displayed correctly here as well. Just went back and added one final quick update to the main menu, which is that now when you quit the game, it doesn't just quit instantly, but instead it all fades out smoothly and the sound fades out, um, and it's all just a little bit nicer. Next up today, I've been adding one final feature to the task GYs, and that is that you can now pin tasks. So if you click on a task, you can see that a pin icon appears in the top left, and if you click on it again, that pin icon disappears. And at the moment this doesn't do anything, all I've worked on is having this save when you change worlds. So if I load up a different world, you can see that it's remembered the tasks that I pinned here. But what this will do is that it will order the tasks based on whether they're pinned or not, so the pinned tasks will always be shown at the top of the list. Next up today I've been working on sorting the items and the tasks in their GYs. So the items in the shops are now sorted by price, and the tasks are now sorted by status, so first you've got the ones that you can claim the rewards for, then you've got the in-progress tasks, then the unstarted ones, and finally the completed tasks, because I thought that the completed ones are probably the ones that you care the least about. Also, you can use the new pinning system to pin tasks, and then whenever you go into the task interface, you'll see that the pin tasks are shown first in the list, so you can use this if you're working on a task and you always want to be able to check the status of that task quickly, then you can pin the task, and then whenever you look into the task interface it will be shown at the beginning. Just added one little update to the shops to finish off the day today, so you can see here that the sheep item is currently locked, and of course I can unlock that by completing a task, so if I complete this tree breeder task that will unlock the sheep, and now in the shop you can see that the sheep is unlocked and it has a star icon next to it, indicating that that um, item in the shop has just been unlocked and is new in the shop, and that only shows the first time that you open the shop since you unlocked the item, so you can see now that I've opened the shop again, it doesn't show that star item because it's not new anymore. So it is Friday and today I'm just going to be working on this behind the scenes devlog video and then at the weekend I'm going to be working on this week's tutorial which will hopefully be out on Sunday, um, otherwise it will be out on Monday evening. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this week. Before I finish I just need to give a big thank you to the top Patreon supporters from last month who were Michael Waitman, Crazy Rusky, Jerry Bradshaw, Crazy Red, Danny D and Benjamin Fuller, so a massive thank you to you guys, and of course a huge thank you to all of you for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, 
Have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.